My name is Dean Blino and I am the co-founder and president of Tomorrow Foods. Tomorrow Food is a plant-based meat manufacturer that's based in Port Coquitlam. We aim to create a more compelling food experience and a more sustainable food system by making exceptional meat alternatives made from good ingredients. What's different about us is that we don't necessarily intend to replicate meat, but rather create what we like to call kind of a satisfying protein addition that's suitable to any person's diet by extracting the essence of what it is that people enjoy about animal protein in terms of things like texture, uh, aroma, cooking experience, nutritional values, etc. Also, at the same time, create a happily plant forward protein experience. We opened our 5,000 square foot production facility in Port Coquitlam in April this year. Uh, and now we have national distribution through UNFI and Horizon um, and we sell into chains like Whole Foods and Nestors and so forth. I ended up reaching out to the BC Food Processors Association. They had a list and the, the one that was the most highly recommended by them was, uh, was Icicle. The types of things that we figured uh, would be important for our operation at the time. and uh, One of the biggest ones was input tracing. Uh, inventory management was another um, box that we wanted to take, uh, productivity tracking, uh, dynamic costing abilities, being able to kind of ensure consistency of execution with our team uh, throughout uh, different um, facets of the business. Inspections and data logging was, was an important uh, part of it for us as well because we obviously understand that it can become quite tedious and, and cumbersome to have to do too much uh, manually on paper and it's also a little bit of a waste uh, from a sustainability element things like facility and equipment maintenance and then some of the, the kind of in-production QA and QC checks so we'd kind of considered all of those elements looked at a few different options and uh, Icicle came out to be the one that made the most sense to us we also like the fact that it was obviously um, you guys are based uh, locally the team uh, is easy to communicate with, which to me is really important. We knew that we needed an ERP system. Um, you know, what, what was also important to me was to find one that was like kind of simple and fluff free. And then I think the implementation cost was a big part of it as well. You know, a lot of the companies out there, they can be really expensive. As we started digging into the different offerings, the HACCP component of it found its way into the conversation. When we found out that we could actually build out the plan uh, directly into our system versus having basically two separate um, pieces running concurrently, then that became uh, an attribute that, that we saw as being very valuable as well. But it wasn't from the get-go, it was kind of as we realized that that was a possibility that it became something that was very cool to us. We weren't implementing it in an existing facility that we've been working in for a while. It was, you know, brand new. And I think that what helped us was that emphasis in the beginning on the quality of the information and the structure of the information, and then using um, what we understood about what we needed for the plan, and then trying to see where we can line up what high school could automate. And so there were some aspects which we had to do manually, and some aspects that um, high school automated quite well. Um, but more than anything, the fact that it could piece it all together and save it in one place uh, and allow us to make iterative uh, adjustments to it uh, was, was really helpful. It definitely facilitated our ability to meet these high standards and to get the third party audit done and pass it at, at the level that we did. We have Fraser Health uh, certification, which then we've got the Safe Food for Canadians license, which is a CFIA one. Uh, and then we have HACCP. So we're in the process of doing non-GMO. In terms of priority for us, most important was the, the food safety certifications. Um, and then we'll start looking at kind of allergen uh, based ones and so forth. We, we, have, we have a really high standard here. We wanted to ensure that that standard was set and that it was nurtured and, and fostered whilst the team was still small. And so whenever we add people to the team, they basically perpetuating a really good system because they're learning from the, other, the others over here. So we put a really, really strong emphasis on that in the beginning to all these different components. And then there's a ton of pieces that form part of, of this ecosystem. It can become quite overwhelming and quite daunting. And I think that iSchool is pretty good at prompting certain things at the right time to take some of that need to remember everything off of the team, limiting the amount of, of shortcomings through that. Um, because we definitely don't want like a highly bureaucratic, <laughs> micromanaged um, culture as we keep growing. Um, and some of it is getting this stuff right. It allows me to 
pretty quickly see if, if things are running smoothly, distilling it into what are the most important elements of our operation? How do we have this centralized system that helps ensure that we keep doing the right things at the right time without constantly needing to be reminded or without constantly needing to have somebody driving that? You know, I, I obviously do a ton of mo- kind of financial modeling and we, we've, we've got a lot of assumptions. And However, um, having the dynamic costing options, that is, is incredibly useful because uh, it's wonderful to be able to see uh, or to vet your assumptions based on what's actually happening uh, on the floor uh, and based on your output and everything that went into that. Um, so we wanted to make sure we had the right equipment, uh, we had capacity, we had the right processes. We felt like we could meet food safety standards and uh, mostly exceed them. It was just really important for us to get all those things in place. And so because we did that, we also had the ability to grow pretty quickly because there's a demand and we're trying to meet that, that demand. You know, I think that um, everybody senses the opportunity with regards to what the plant-based market is becoming, I suppose the rate at which it will likely grow. I mean, there's still, it's still a fraction of the overall protein market, but I think it's more that people understand that over the next few years, there'll be, there'll be a ton of growth and a ton of exciting um, things happening in the space. And so I think everybody's just trying to find a few businesses to, to meet that need and that demand. And so we've moved very quickly um, and we hope to be able to do so at an even faster rate next year. <laughs> So I, I would definitely recommend Icicle and for numerous reasons, you know, but I think the biggest one is the fact that it's affordable to implement. It is easy to learn how to use and for your team to learn how to use. Um, the team is incredibly responsive and very personable. And overall, it really, really simplifies our ability to do things consistently well. And for that reason, is very much worth the investment.